Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are going to be going through all of the drops of Mogloween. Now, keep in mind, these are all of the drops currently in the game as of this video. There is going to be new Mogloween content coming either this week or next week. Probably next week, I'll be making a separate video on those drops when they arrive. So let's get right into it. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and tap that like button, smash the subscribe, and turn the notification so you don't miss any of my uploads. In this video, I will not be covering ingredients, just item drops. First location is the graveyard. Now there are two mobs that spawn in this location. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Now this is the one that you want to fight in order to get the friendly raven. This is the item right here. Now it is a pretty low drop rate, so good luck. The next location is the Haunted Manor. Now you have the Spoopy Spiders, the Town Tricksters, and just over here in this graveyard area is the Grim Ghosts. They have some drops and you also have three different bosses that spawn in this location. This being the first one, Numra. This being the second one, Jacked Skellington. And I can't seem to get the other one to spawn. The other one is the Trollenstein monster. The Spoopy Spider and the Creaky Spider drop the Ghastly Green Gourd and the Green Candy Bucket. The Town Tricksters drop the Candy Bucket and the Pumpkin Pail. The Grim Ghost drops the Pink Candy Bucket and the Pink Pumpkin Pail. Jack Skellington drops the Dark Candy Bucket and the Pitch Pumpkin Pail. And lastly, the Numra and the Trollenstein monster drops the rare pumpkin root. Now this is only for guardians. Heading inside the manor, we have five dungeons in here. Now the first four dungeons are right here. Throughout this dungeon, you have a chance of getting the holy witch shoes and the torn witch gloves. You can also get the broken witch staff. These are dropped by the mobs in these four dungeons. If you head over to the right side and in this dungeon, you have a chance of getting two items from the boss. The first is the Spirit of Miscroft Bow, which is a rather low drop rate, but not impossible. And then the next is the Rotting Pumpkin Head. Now, this item is for Guardians only. Next, we're going to head to town. This is just heading out of the manor and into Miscroft Town. And in this location, you have several items that you can get, although most of them are pretty low drop rates. Spawning in several locations in this map is the Bootle Corn, which shops the Bootle Helm. Now, you can also get this from the craft shop talking to Andy Corn. Another randomly spawned mob is the Headless Horseman. Now, he drops the Headless Horseman sword. Really awesome sword. He also drops a pet, but it is for guardians only. I've also heard he drops the Uwu Pumpkin Head. I don't know if that is 100% true or not. Next, heading into the laboratory. And there's a dungeon right here. Now, there are two different dungeons. If you run the easy dungeon and fight the headless horseman in here, you have a chance of getting the spooky Vampragon. Unfortunately, this travel form is only for guardians. And in this dungeon, you will also face the headless horseman. This one doesn't only drop the spooky Vampragon for guardians, he also drops the Uwu pumpkin head. This is a really low drop rate, so good luck. In the experimental chest, you have a chance of getting Dr. Trollenstein's head and the Hurl Bat. And those are the drops of Mogloween. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.